Hi guys, welcome to Bookish Shayla. This is my first video. Um, so a little bit about me. I have been scrapbooking for 25 years or so. I started scrapbooking right after I got married and I do a lot of different things. I scrapbook mostly my children and travel and family books. And I right now am scrapbooking anything from the years 2012 up to now. I don't scrapbook in order. I've learned through watching Janet over at RTS that I don't have to scrapbook in order as long as I keep my pictures organized. And so now I do my best to, to keep them organized. I have two children. I have a son that's 22 and is out working now. He has graduated from college. And I have a daughter who's 18 who just went to college. And I live in Oklahoma with my husband. And I am a teacher, so I am now an empty nester without a whole lot to do. My children were very, very active and kept me very, very busy. And so I decided that if I was ever going to start a YouTube channel, this would be a good time to give it a shot. So this last month in August, I um, did the 31 days of cut files with MK Gunn and Janet Fritz. I didn't do every single cut file in the 31 days, but I did quite a few. I thought I would start off with a layout share of what all I did in August. I think I completed 33 or 34 layouts. It looks like 34. I do keep track so that I know what I do them for and the products that I use. I use a mixture of old products, very old sometimes, and new products. I like to try to mix them together sometimes and see what I can come up with. I use sketches a lot. I will let you know if I use a sketch if I have it down in my notes. But anyway, I just thought that this would be a good place to start since it's September 1st and I did all these layouts. I would give it a shot and see what it's like to have a YouTube channel. I hope um, to build up my channel this month in September. In October, I will be doing the 30 days of sketches. This month, I plan on doing a lot of the scrap timber challenges over on Facebook. So you will see some of them. I will attempt to do process videos, I guess. We'll see how that goes. So anyway, let's get into it. Um, this first layout I did just for fun. I did it as a, um, I used up some old papers from uh, close to my heart. You will see that I have been using close to my heart products for about, oh, 15 years at least, maybe even longer than that. Um, I'm not very good at using them all up. And so you will see as we go that I have several very old collections. This one is a close to my heart layout. It was from Halloween of 2015 and it used a scrap a sketch sketch for my inspiration. Um, this is, that's my daughter and those are her friends. So this is the first layout. The next layout is a two page layout. This is also a close to my heart Charlotte collection from several, several years ago. This is my niece's wedding. That's one of my nieces. I have five nieces and two nephews. This is, um, these are my two nephews here and these are my uh, two of my other nieces. And this is my family several years ago. This was back in 2017. The next one, this one here really uh, is special to me. Um, this is my grandma and my other grandma and my great aunt. These two ladies have both passed away. This was one Christmas. They were all together and um, I snapped this picture and it has now become a very special picture. Um, this was for the 31 days of cut files. It was day 28. This is the cut file here. I colored it with shimmers inks and I uh, backed it. This is, I used to get uh, uh, page kits from hot off the press and this was some papers that were left over. I also added some flare. You'll see that I love flare. Um, some of this flare, these two I think were from Yes Please button shop and then this one was an MK gun flare and then I used some old Nuvo brads 
and then some 49 in market film strips and tickets. I did some stenciling. I did a lot of mixed media on this one since because all these papers I had were scraps, so I didn't have a lot to use, so I decided to um, do a lot of mixed media instead. Um, this paper here, this was another for 31 days of cut files. Um, it was the crazy times. This is my son. He was at the, uh, he was in college when COVID hit. And so he went back in August of 2020. It was his sophomore year, but he lived in a fraternity house. He was an AGR at Oklahoma State and he, they got to go back to college, but all of their classes were online. So basically they just went and lived in the fraternity house for us a year. And this was his first day of school. Like I said, I used the cut file from 31 days of cut files. It was day 10 and it was a cut Janet Fritz cut file. I colored it with Lindy Starburst sprays. I added some Happy Scrappy or Scrap and Happy Studio Flair and some I also really love wood veneer and I used some wood veneer from Color Cast Designs. Uh, the papers were a photo play campus life paper and it was also a sketch. So, there's that one. This one is another two page spread. It was not for um, 31 days of cut files. It was just a fun page I did. It was another close to my heart page. This was back in 2013. It was my daughter and my son and my niece or my nephew's ice skating. <clears throat> this is another two page spread using more really old close to my heart papers. It was at Christmas of 2014. My daughter and a cousin, my mother-in-law, my husband, my, my brother-in-law, and my son. I also added some dazzles and some uh, alphabet stickers there from Thickers to jazz it up a little bit. This was a fun page to do. It is also a um, sun page from uh, when my, my son's freshman year. This was from 31 days of cut files. This was day 27 and it was a pear tree cut file and it says snap and so I added the O. Uh, they were at a pre-fraternity party and as you can see, they got all written on. This one's my son and these two were his roommates and I used some very, very old uh, sweet water paper and Karen Foster paper that I'd had in my stash and these stickers are also from Karen Foster. I added some Scrap and Happy Studio Flair and some uh, some assemblage required stars. So, but this was, I thought this was a fun one how it turned out. Um, this was a Scrapbook Generations page kit from years and years ago and uh, I had already done it and I just needed to add some pictures. So I added these pictures. My daughter was very much into musical theater when she was in high school. And this was the first one that she ever did. And so I put today is the day because it's the day that she discovered how much she loved it. And she went on to do it for uh, many years. This was in 2014 that she started. This next one is um, another one from for 31 days of cut files. It is uh, close to my heart papers. The cut file was from Lori, Lori Whitlock. It was day 25. This is my son and daughter at Great Wolf Lodge. And I added some Scrap and Happy Studios flair again. Like I said, you'll see that I love flair. This These pictures were from October of 2013. This is a Disney page. When my son graduated from high school, we took a trip to Disney. And this was a page that I just did um, with some different papers that I used. It wasn't for anything particular, but that's my son and me and my daughter back in 2019 when my son graduated high school. 
This is another um, Disney page. It's a, this is actually a two page spread and that's what it looks like together. Um, this was also a two page spread. It's called My World Using More Close to My Heart Products. Um, it is my children showed pigs. We're in a very rural community and FFA is very big and they showed pigs growing up. So this is back in 2016 with both of them showing their piggies. This is a train ride and it was a 2000 or it was a um, 31 days of cut files. Um, it was, let me see if I can find it what day it was. It was day 24 and it was a Lori Whitlock. This was the Lori Whitlock. I backed it with just some scraps that I had. Um, my mom and I took a train from Oklahoma City down to San Antonio for when my brother got married back in 2016. And this was some of the stops that we made. This was another 31 days of cut files. This was day 23 and it was also a pear tree cut file. I used some um, close to my heart inks to color it and this is close to my heart paper. Then I also used some pear tree acrylics and some Scrap and Happy, St Scrap and Happy Studio Flare. Uh, for my 50th birthday last in 2022, my mom and I took a New England tour uh, road trip. We flew into Boston and then went up and this was in Bar Harbor, Maine, which was one of my favorite places on the tour. This is a cut file, a 31 days of cut file. It was this cut file here. If you can see it, I colored it with, um, what did I color this one with? Oh, Heidi Swap Color Shine. Um, this was an MK gun cut file. This, these pictures are from the Air and Space Museum at the Smithsonian in Washington, DC, uh, back in 2013. And I used some old authentique and seven gypsies paper, and then also some scrap and happen, happy studio flare. This was from that same trip. And it was also a 31 days of cut file. This cut file was from Lori Whitlock, and this was some hot off the press papers. Again, an old kit that I had the papers left over that I backed it with. Um, scrap and Happen, Scrappy Happy Studio Flare, and this was a swap that I had received. I used to do swaps years and years and years ago, and I don't anymore, but I still have so much left. And this was from a swap. And um, this was day the cut file from day 21. This was from a different Disney World trip. My kids participated in what is called Beta. It's an honor society and I help out. So I get to go on the trips with them for National Beta. And this was my daughter's trip to Disney World in 2021. It was a 31 days of cut file. Day 17, another gear from MK Gun. This one I colored with Picket, Flint, Picket Fence Paper Glaze. I also... Um, on Etsy, there's this, if you like Disney wood veneer and flare, there is an amazing store on Etsy called uh, Kiki's Tiki Room. And this is where I got the um, wood veneer, the Star Wars and the little Mickey Darth Vader. She's a great, she gets her stuff out really quick. She's amazing. I did a little bit of mixed media on this one and used a uh, photo play. And this was in the Star Wars section of um, Disney World. <clears throat> this is kind of a fun one. My, like I said, my son was an AGR at Oklahoma State, and at Oklahoma State, we have a huge homecoming every year, and the sororities and fraternities pair together, and they do all kinds of competitions, and one of them, what they do is they build house decks, and it is literally out of tissue paper, and bird wire and um, they move and they're just amazing. You can't even begin to describe it. Well, this is a 31 days of cut file. It was day 15 and it's another MK gun one. And I colored this one with um, 
close to my heart ink and it's close to my heart paper. But what it's documenting is this is at the beginning of Thursday. This is my son's fraternity house and you can see that they're just starting to build it. And by Friday night, it looks like this. And so that's why it says from this to this 24 hours. And it really is absolutely amazing what they do. Um, it's a lot of fun to go see. And on Friday night, there, as you can see in this picture, there's a ton of people. They have what's called a walk around. And there's just um, hundreds, thousands of people that walk around and see all the different house decks. Um, this one <clears throat> was another close to my heart, or not close to my heart, 31 Days of Cut File from MK Gun. I um, colored this one with Nuvo Embellishment Mousse. My mousse has dried up really bad, but I find that if I spray it with water and use my finger, I can color things with it. Um, this is, I took a professional development at the Dallas Holocaust Museum back in 2018, and this is one of the things that we had to do, and that's documenting this. Um, another Star Wars layout. This one is um, another 31 Days of Cut Files, Day 14, another MK Gun, and this one I colored with a close to my heart glitter pen, and I used Simple Stories Say Cheese collection for this one, and that's basically all that it is. I didn't do too much extra on this one. This Explore More is another 31 Days of Cut File, Day 13, an MK Gun. This one I colored again with some shimmers, spritz, and vibers and colors. And I used a old Chamel Field Day collection. This is, um, we had a science fair one year, and these are the, this is the science club, and my son and daughter, my daughter's somewhere in there, they were in here, and then that's my son, and this is my daughter's class, so, um, and I used some wood veneer stars from uh, some assemblage required. This one documents what it was like during COVID to do different things. I was at school um, when we, like I said, we live in a very rural community. So we were able to go back to school in August of 2021. And, but things were a little different. And this is, we were learning how to um, do more virtual learning. And so it was a cut file. This is the cut file, has books and stuff. And this cut file was from um, Janet Fritz. It was day 12. I colored it with some um, close to my heart ink and then some, uh, what else did I use? Picket fence paper glaze. And then I used some too on the uh, mixed media. This is a really old One Canoe Two paper collection that I finally got, I killed it, and some stickers and stuff, and then some wood veneer from Color Cast Designs again. This is a, uh, the leaves are the 31 Days of Cut Files from day 11. This was 49 in market, pretty much everything except the wood veneer was from Color Cast Designs. Um, I used what did I use? I can't remember what I used to color this one. I think it was shimmers, but I'm not positive. This is my son. He was Mr. AHS, and this is uh, Miss Arnett back in 2018 when they were juniors. This one is kind of a funny one. Uh, I had this cut file for 31 days of cut files from day 10, no, day 9, and uh, it was a washing machine with socks in it. And I did not know what on earth I was going to use it for. And then I got this idea to use it for some dirty uniforms. My daughter played softball. And as you can see, they are very, very dirty. At, this was a softball tournament. They played like three or four days in one day or three or four games in one day. And they were super dirty. And so I used it to document how I had to wash her suit. And it's called Around Here, Dirty Suits Equal Trophy because they got first place. And this is a um, Amy Tangerine, an old Amy Tangerine cut uh, collection. And the cut file is from Janet Fritz. And I have some more Color Cast Studios wood veneer. This one is um, documenting a trip to New York City. I've 
New York City is like my place to go. I love it. I love Broadway and all the things that you can do in New York City. It was for 31 Days of Cut Files, day eight. This is also a Janet Fritz cut file. I did ink it a little. You can't really tell. It was using the Tim Holtz Lost Shadow, I think is what it's called. And I used it to journal. But, um, when I go to New York, one of the places I have to go is Junior's Cheesecake, and I have to get a Reuben sandwich and matzo ball soup. It's just like a must, and so that's what this is documenting. It's using an old Vicky Booten, Vicky Booten Let's Wonder line, and um, more color cast designs wood veneer. This is also a uh, 31 Days of Cut File. It's day seven. It's also from Janet Fritz. This is an Echo Park coffee collection. I used it. My daughter loves Starbucks, so this is what that this is um, documenting. Um, I used some more color cast design wood veneer and some Scrap and Happy, Happy Studios flare. I really like the way this one turned out. Um, I used a 31 days of cut file, cut file day um, six. It was a Janet Fritz cut file and I used this close to my heart glitter pen. Um, this is actually the August sketch from Stick It Down that I used as inspiration and I just took some close to my heart ink pads and swiped them across and then colored this to match it and I used some um, embellishments some acrylics to match also this actually epic is from um not just for boys that I got and it's the cut file says real life and this is my daughter she was interviewed at a FFA science fair and all the girls in her that did it were interviewed, but for some reason they picked this picture of my daughter and they made it into a commercial that they played at the Thunder basketball games. And so I would get all these phone calls saying, did I just see Emma on bas on the Thunder big screen? And I'd be like, yeah, that's Emma. So um, that's why I use this real life cut file because I thought that was a good title for this picture. Um, this is an old picture of 2015, 4th of July, my son and daughter. It's not a cut file. It was just kind of for fun. It was actually for a um, bash, bash your scrapbook stash challenge on August 4th to use multiple photos on one page. I used a bunch of really old stuff on this one. I had some scenic route pattern paper and then these um, My Mind's Eye frames that I don't know, I bought them on like either QVC or HSN years and I have a whole stack of them and I still use them every now and then. Then I added some sequins, the stars and the title was a old swap and I added these really old metal letters that I've had forever. This one, so on for the first week of 31 days of cut files, they were stitching files. Well, I don't stitch, I don't, I have a sewing machine, I never use it. I got rid of all my embroidery floss years and years ago. So I did a few different things. And one of the things I did is on the holes where they wanted you to stitch for this one, I put Nouveau drops in different colors to make the sun ray. And so I thought that was kind of fun. Um, this was a simple story wild, wildflower collection and some color cast design uh, wood veneer and this is my daughter back in 2018 we have a cousin that takes pictures uh, professionally and so we have a lot of pictures Emma is his favorite mo or one of his favorite models and so I have a lot of uh, photo shoot pictures and this is one of them uh, this cut file was from uh, COAPA I can't remember what it stands for Mm, yeah, I can't remember, but that's where this week's cut files came from. Oh, and the acrylic is from Bramble Fox, another th place that I love. This one was just a fun one that I did. It didn't have a, a um, cut file on it. It was for a scrap and sketch, sketch, sketch number 83. This is my daughter and her best friend over the years and I used a P13 
line and added some 49 and Market film strips and some Felicity Jane stuff there. This one is, let me think, chill is, oh, um, uh, Scrapbook Generations had a virtual crop and this was for one of the uh, challenges. It was to have a tropical and it's also a scrap squad scrap lift back at the beginning of August. This is a Dear Lizzie collection and this is me on a Disney cruise back in 2015. And this is a uh, Scrappin' Happy Studio. They've She started doing these coasters, so this and then the flare, and um, there's some more flare. So yeah, that was a fun one. Um, this was Thanksgiving of 2020, which I had COVID and my daughter had COVID, so we had just the four of us at home for Thanksgiving. This was a 31 days of cut file, these leaves. Um, it was day four and I, what did I do? I used Nuvo Sparkle Spray and Lindy Starburst Spray to color these. And this was an old Close to My Heart collection and I used some old scrap tags that I got from a swap. Remember today, this was a group of kids that went to Falls Creek, which is our church camp here in Oklahoma, one of the big church camps. And this was a uh, cut file for the 31 days of cut file. It was day one actually. And this one, I used the dots as a stencil and made this star with Nuvo drops using that stencil. And this was, is an old Vicki Booten color study line and some Bramble Fox acrylics there. This one I used I colored these with some glitter, which I do not use glitter very often for obvious reasons. You can tell it doesn't look great. And then for the waves or the, I figured out later that they were supposed to be like the trails of the fish, but I used them as waves. I did the Nuvo drop on the holes again. This is an old close to my heart um, line. And um, this was day two of the cut files of 31 days of cut files. And this, this picture was from 2013. So this is my daughter and my son and my cousin. And I used some acrylics there. Uh, this is my son and his ex-girlfriend. They're not together anymore, but it was from 2018 Homecoming. We had American Day and this, he dressed up as Captain American because he loves Marvel movies. This was for 31 Days of Cut Files, day three and I colored these with a, a Distress Oxide and then also used some Glimmer Mist for the, sp the um, splatters around. This tag and pocket was an old swap item. These stars came from another Etsy shop that I love called uh, Fawnies on Ninth. These, Ninth, these acrylic stars. And then I just used a bunch of just stuff from my stash from in my Americana collection. These are the last two ones I've done. I did them just last night, actually. This is uh, the cut file that I used. It was day 30 of the cut files. They were a pear tree. It was these geotags and hearts. And there's a heart and there's a heart. I used the um, Pink Fresh Tourist Mode collection with this and if you guys have never checked out my little scrapbook store, she has amazing products at amazing prices and I and she is just awesome. Michelle is her name and her daughter Carrie. They do live sales on they have an app but they do them on Facebook and they're just amazing and that's where I got all this tourist mode and um this was the is the Trinity Church Cemetery in New York City. It's right by the um 9/11 museum so again another it's a different trip to new york than the other one but um this is and i got a little carried away with my splatters but that's okay i use glitter brushes to color these and then that's what i used for the splatters and this is also a scrap a sketch sketch and then the last one i did last night was my last 31 days of cut files this was day 31 
um, from Pear Tree Cut File, these tickets, and I colored them. I sprayed them with Nuvo Sparkle Spray, this gold spray. And then I don't really know what all this collection was. It was all together, but it was not the same thing because this black paper was Echo Park, and then this paper was Crepe Paper, and then I had My, 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 My Mind's Eye Brads, and I don't know where the um, vellum and acrylic are. Yeah, acrylic pieces came from. I, I'm not sure, but they were all together in a bag, so I just used them all together. And this is my daughter at the first time she went to a ballet back in 2014, and it was also a scrap of sketch. That sketch. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you guys again, and I hope this wasn't too long. Thanks, guys. Bye.